Hello everyone! Welcome back to episode 30 of my Let's Build series. Can you believe it? Already 30 episodes. Goodness, and I've made so much progress in just 30 episodes. I can hardly even believe it. Um, this is probably the last episode that you're going to be seeing of me in my holiday skin. So I thought I would show it off one more time before I quickly put my gear back on in case I forget. But today we're actually going to be working in this area that you see behind me. I want to get some of the palace gardens done. Now, I don't entirely have my ideas together for the entire garden, but I figure we could begin to get it cleaned up and started and all put down what I have ideas for. Then you guys can do your thing and comment any ideas that you have, so it'll be sort of a collaboration in that way with the comments. Thank you so much for all your comments in the last episode, by the way. I'm actually recording this video uh, just after I uploaded the last one, so they're very, very close together. So the comments for that one are still coming in as we speak. Uh, I'm recording everything super close together because I have to go back to school really soon. So I kind of want to get ahead of things so that I'm not stressed out in the first week of classes. So the first order of business out here is actually going to be cleaning up this area. So because this has been an area that I've been using to grow trees, and let's be real, I'll probably continue to use it to grow trees, it's kind of messy right now. Uh, so we need to get all of the sand out here, all of that podzel right there, that all has to go, and we need to replace it with plain old dirt. Hopefully we'll have lots, and we kind of need sand anyway, so I'm not mad about this. This is so relaxing, oh my goodness. I'm gonna end up taking out some of the dirt too, but that, that's fine. I'll just place it back. All right, there it is. Our space is all cleared up. It's like a brand new clean slate. It's gonna be so awesome once all of that dirt fills in. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so now it's time to ruin this again. So I'm gonna need to fix up this prismarine line that goes along here and we need a railing right along here. So what I'm going to do is bring this dark oak out to kind of border this. This will give this a really, really, really nice accent. And it'll just run all the way along this path. Like that. There we go. Now this path actually leads into a staircase that goes into the water. Now do I have any... Let's see. I do have some. Okay, so we need this and this and this. And let's just grab some of that for a crafting table perfect and some of those just to get this started not worried about finishing this today because it's not actually part of the garden but we could get it started there we go so this is just going to continue its way down the path like so and i'm obviously going to dig out the sand where i need to and i think we'll have a conduit down here somewhere maybe that this can kind of tap into so it's like we're entering into the water next to the coral reef maybe we can have some more tunnels or something like that i don't know there's so much stuff that we could do so i'm excited to work on it more okay now that our staircase is kind of marked and we need to come along here and kind of mark this in i don't think i have enough prismarine at the moment to finish it but i'd like to at least know that it's there so this is kind of a wall. Now this wall is not super important on that end, but down on this end, where this kind of dives into the water, this prismarine wall coming down here, that's going to be a lot more important so that we don't have that blank gap there. I'll just make it look a little less silly from the side here. The next thing I want to do is actually get some materials to build our fountains out of. Oh, I should start organizing my inventory a little bit as well. Let's just place some dirt in there. Well, I'll take a little bit. We may need that. Oh, some more prismarine bricks would be great and a regular prismarine. And other than that, I don't think I need anything else in here. Maybe some of this. And those jungle logs would be nice. There we go. Okay. Now, I think that it would be really nice to make my fountains out of quartz. I haven't used a lot of quartz in this world yet, and we do have quite a nice amount of quartz actually mined, so I thought I would make that into some blocks. Maybe not use all of the ores. Yeah, I'll make that many for now. I'm not sure how many we're going to need. Maybe just a couple more. There we go. As I thought having these as the fountains would be nice, they kind of resemble this pearly white color. They may fit in with our theme nicely. 
I don't know, I kind of just like the idea of placing quartz. I think they'll stand out quite a bit. So I want this to be a fairly large fountain and I'm actually going to center it with this window. So this is our center line. How far down do I want to go? Oh no, this is way too far. Okay, let's go right here as our back point. And then we're gonna go two and two and one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Whoops. Not quite, there we go. So this is really massive for a fountain. I haven't done one this big in survival before. I mean, it's honestly, it's not that big and we can do a fairly large fountain in this and have it be a little bit more complex because of how large our palace is. The fountain's not going to make it look super tiny by being larger. On the edge of the fountain, I think I'll add some stair details like this. I just like the look of that when the edges are a little thicker. And then maybe in the corners here, we could do something like this with some slabs to add a little bit of interest. All right, there we go, there's the base. Oh no, I forgot to bring, wait, maybe I have some. I need sea lanterns. There we go, I do have some. Okay, that's good. And I can use some prismarine on the bottom of it maybe? Prismarine or dark oak, ooh, or andesite. Let's do prismarine. So on the inside, goodness, I just placed all this dirt. <laughs> I should have thought about this a little bit better. There we go. The shovel's actually too fast. <laughs> it breaks everything. You have to be super careful. All right, now on the edges, I'm gonna do some sea lanterns just to make sure that everything is nice and bright around here. I do not wanna have to have torch spam. All right, now I'm just gonna come into the center. This is the exact center and make a nice little X. I should probably put a torch in there just in case there's mob spawning. And just on the edge of this X, we need a place for the water to actually be flowing out on this lower layer. So I'm gonna place stairs. So the water's going to flow off of these stairs. Now, if we just have it like this, the water's also going to flow off the sides. So we need to make sure that we're correcting for that. So I think we'll do slabs like this. This seems like an obvious choice. And then maybe out like this, this will kind of act as a little canal shoving the water out towards the edge, hopefully. Goodness, fountains take a lot of brain power. You kind of have to build it and you want it to be pretty, but like you also really want the water to just listen to you and go where you want. <laughs> I'm kind of torn, honestly. Okay, now I want the water to look like it's kind of coming out like this and flowing off of these. So we'll have some of this. And then like this and on top of these, we'll have more water flowing out. So water flows off of this onto that. So it's like steps, right? Right? Oh, I missed one. <laughs> oh no. All right, it's okay. I need to sleep anyways. Oh no, <laughs> some monsters had time to spawn. Ah well, they can be peacefully burning in the gardens over there. Now, continuing on with our project pillar on up here so let's think about this again water starts here no it starts at the top and then it flows to here and then it flows to here so it's like three three layers one two and then three will be like the one on top so this will also flow to the sides if we don't stop it which means we're gonna need a slab so if we just do this like so. And this quartz is just so pretty. At some point, I would love to make an entirely quartz build. It's just, it's gorgeous to work with. Okay. Did I just hear something? <laughs> Maybe that's in my own house. I feel like I'm just hearing my family walking around upstairs. I'm going insane. Okay, and then up here, this is where we'll put the bucket of water. I don't have a bucket of water right now. And I need to check over my work. So it's probably a good thing. That looks like madness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the water will probably make it a little more calm. Maybe. You know what? Some supports right here would actually be kind of cool. Maybe we can do that. Let me go see what I have in the storage room. All right. I have the perfect solution, everyone. End rods. So I was doing a creative project recently that I haven't actually shown you guys yet. And I had to do 
I had to find a creative way to make hidden lighting because I was doing interior. And end rods are so incredibly useful for hidden lighting. So although I don't need hidden lighting right now, it kind of made me think about that project and I wanted to try out some end rods right here. So I think in these corner areas right here, all right, that's a slab, yeah. So we don't want a floating end rod, there we go. So like that and that, yeah. I love how they automatically go upside down. That's so handy. All right, so that's gonna add lighting and just a little bit of sparkle in the corner. Ah, oh, it's so, it's so wonderful. Okay, now, the moment of truth. Let's see if this water flows correctly. <gasps> it does, it does, it flows right, okay. I'm kind of proud of that. Hey, we did it. We made a fountain. Okay, now I just have to fill in the rest of the water to make it all infinite sources. That shouldn't be too hard as we live completely surrounded by water. Here we go. Let's, let's get this filled in. There we go. Infinite water sources and a wonderful fountain. Let's, uh, let's look at this from far away. I think it would be very lovely to get a full view of the palace right now. There it is. Oh, I think that's so cute. And we're going to have two, one there and one there. We'll surround it with some beautiful leafy bushes and flowers. I like it. I'm very happy with that. I hope that you guys are too. All right. And just like magic, both of our fountains are in. Well, just like magic for you guys, it wasn't magical for me. <laughs> I just had to place the exact same blocks all over again. Now I think I would like to address this area. It's looking a little bit plain right now, and I sort of want to keep these walls looking fairly plain, which is a little strange for me. I don't normally do that. However, I kind of am wanting these walls to kind of connect to the gardens a little bit. I sort of want them to look a little overgrown. Like maybe we'll have some vines curling up around with some flowers on them. I think that could look super cute and tropical and would be a lot of fun to make. And honestly, it may actually save us some work in the structure building department. So ah, I should go look and make sure I'm doing this window the same size. I actually want to just copy this window over to that window so that they look exactly the same. Yes, a gap of two, okay. All right, both windows are in place. All I have to do is copy over that top part and uh, I could do that off camera. You guys don't need to see me place a bunch of stairs. Um, I'm gonna quickly make some slabs in the dark oak variety and the dark prismarine variety, I should say. I said that a little bit out of order, but uh, you understand what I mean. We need both of those. And we're also going to be using some strip logs. So I'm just gonna build up a simple little entrance right here, starting right here. Just pop it out about one from the wall so that we can have a little bit of an overhanging roof. All right, and now out here, all I'm gonna do is just pillar this up going in increments of slabs like so and some full blocks on the sides and of course now we use our dark prismarine slabs so this is super simple compared to some of the other entrances we did but because this is not a main entrance it's just the garden entrance i didn't feel the need to make it super crazy let's get down and see how this looks yeah, I think that'll definitely do the job. We just need to carve out the rest of that terracotta that's in the center there. And on the edges, uh, right against the wall on the side of this, I'm gonna pillar all the way up with one of these. And I have a superb idea that I thought of while I was uh, making that fountain. While I was making the fountain, I was kind of looking at these walls like, ah, you know, they're kind of plain. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. It's kind of a tricky area, but I have figured it out. I think <laughs> we had to test it out to see if it'll work. But in theory, I want to place these zodiac sign Gemini in the center here. I think that would be a super cute theme to have throughout the palace because this is my base and the zodiac sign Gemini has a super easy symbol to build in Minecraft. So right above that entrance, in between these two pillars, I'm going to make the symbol. And I think I can do it out of these slabs and stairs. So uh, let's just get up here. All right, so right across here, we'll have the top line. We need to make sure it's centered. So this is our center and on each side of our center, we have these coming down. And then 
I want to do a little, kind of like a little squiggle. Make it a little bit more fancy, like it's italic. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I think this is going to be so cool. Okay, and this one goes up. And this one will go down. There we go. That's the Gemini symbol. Super simple, easy to build in Minecraft. So let's see what that looked like. We've officially kind of branded our palace. I feel good about this. Yes, the Gemini Palace Garden Entrance. I love it. I think that's a wonderful addition to the wall. What do you guys think? Now, I have something to... Okay, so I was looking through all of my chests and I realized the only flowers I have on me are these daisies. Now, how on earth are we going to make a garden without any flowers? I guess we have to go find some. So, we're gonna go on a little expedition exploring this world, but first I should repair my elytra because they're getting a little low. Now, for those of you who have been worried about my elytra, they do not have mending, but I have actually done some end rating since the last time we have been there in an episode. So, that means I do have some spare pairs of elytra ready for when these break. And because we used to have quite the phantom problem, I also have some phantom membranes just laying around. So, I'm actually gonna repair this up. Oops. <laughs> like so. Oh no, it costs nine and we don't have nine. All right. We're gonna have to take an emergency flight. Okay, first of all though, let's, let's sort out the inventory. Goodness me. Let's use this. This is gonna be our random chest. I should keep those of stuff that we're gonna need to build the garden with. I should take the shears. Okay, there we go. Oh. Ah. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I need to get better at flying. But look at our palace behind us. What a view. Alright, just the right amount of levels to fix up our elytra a little bit. <laughs> that should work for now. Uh, let me just quickly put these items in the system. I don't need to be carrying those around. Alright, and time to leave. All right, it's time to begin our elytra flying mission. We need to find a bunch of different types of flowers. I don't really mind if it's not a flower for us. And honestly, I would rather find some of these larger bushes here, like the lilacs and such. That way we can just bone meal them and get lots for our garden. <gasps> Look, I see some down here. We have some tulips. Those will be super cute. This is perfect. Look what I see! More flowers! What are these ones called? I've almost forgotten. Let's see, let's see. Peonies, okay, perfect. I hope I'm saying that correctly. We've gotten three of those, but we can bone meal those, so I very much like those. Now we really only need some lilacs to complete. Oh, yes! Perfect! Thank you, cows. You've led me directly to them. All right, brilliant. Now that we're home, the first thing I actually want to do Oh shoot, we need sea lanterns, ah, goodness me, I don't even think I have any here, I think, I think we have to make another run to the guardian farm, alright, up we go, it's a good thing this is a quick journey, <laughs> otherwise I would be very frustrated right now. All right, that was a quick trip, but now I'm fully restocked on sea lanterns, so well worth it for sure. Now, next on the list, I've actually, um, should probably just make a bunch of those. I want to have some potted plants going along here, and this is also going to act as hidden lighting. So one there and one there with two leaves on top. And then we're gonna use these dark oak trap doors and just simply hide it like it's a little flower pot i think that's such a cute way of doing things i do this on interior quite a lot i think it can definitely work in exterior along here as well that is so cute another thing that i was planning on doing that i actually haven't done yet hang on <laughs> there we go oh wait no 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 not those okay i'm gonna make some of these into stairs there we go and now just lined up with these three right here i'm gonna have a step down into the garden 
so it's like a graceful transition into the garden on each side. And instead of doing hard paths, I want this to be a fairly organic spot. So I'm just gonna carve out kind of a random little path right through here. It's so maybe like right there, there we go. There we go, so it kind of starts off as a path and then it kind of tapers away a little bit. All right, there we go. That's looking much better already. So I'm gonna go and continue working on this garden, getting lots of different details and flower boxes and leaves and such in place. And I'm gonna bring you guys back for the finishing touches. All right, so here's what I have come up with for our garden so far. I know I haven't done a lot since the last clip, but I just wanted to lay down the basics because I want to do some more with you on camera in future episodes and a little bit more in this episode. I actually haven't laid down any of my flowers flowers yet. I have plans to do a few flower beds along the edges, but something that I wanted to do right now is actually solve the problem of not having a whole lot of short flowers because I don't want to go out and find a flower forest. I thought we could maybe use an alternative to actually having flowers and that is to have coral. I think this is a trick you can do. So you can waterlog stairs like this and then place a coral right there and it won't die because it's next to water. And I think that looks so cute as a garden and it fits in with this tropical feel that we've got so, so well. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do it entirely of coral. I'm gonna place in some dirt around in places. So it's sort of a mixture. Okay, now let's get this. It will, it will be a lot of coral though, because I want it to be kind of this full bed right under this beautiful palm tree. I also want to have more palm trees around because I think they definitely add to that tropical feeling. Whew, okay, I need a few more stairs, but we get the point. I need to waterlog all of these and then just place some coral on them. All right, here is our little garden so far. Obviously, we can expand on this idea quite a lot because we have a lot of space throughout this garden to fill in. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what we can do mixing in the coral with some of the other flowers. Oh no, it looks like I've ruined one right here. That is okay. I needed to put some water. Um, I think that was a coral fan. There we go. So now that one should survive. I really hope they never patch this. I love being able to place these colorful coral above ground. I think this adds so much to our garden theme. With that out of the way, it is time to move on to our comment or question of the day. All right, today's comment or question of the day comes from Harry, who says, I'm worried about the aquarium. It's going to be huge if you mark it in like it is right now. It's going to block most of your amazing palace, but it's just my opinion. Don't think about it. Great video. I love it. Thank you so much, Harry, for commenting. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If I'm not, definitely correct me in the comments. So what Harry is talking about in their comment is over here, we have this big circle and this is going to be filled in with blocks and it's going to make up an aquarium and I actually agree this is massive right now we're not going to be able to see our mermaid or anything like that but it's also going to be glass so it's going to be a little bit see-through I do think I want to reduce it a little bit because this gap right now is four so I think we'll probably bring this in maybe one or two blocks in the radius. So just to give us a little extra walking room on the sides to kind of see around what's going on. But I have another question for you guys before we start working on the aquarium that is gonna be super important. So in the corner of the screen right now, there is a pole. I need you guys to tell me which glass you prefer. So thus far throughout the palace, I have been using this light blue glass because it doesn't have these sort of sharp edges that the clear glass has. However, you can see through the clear glass a lot easier despite all of these kind of weird textures in it. So which glass would you guys prefer to have as the aquarium in the center of our palace? Let me know in the poll up in the corner that's gonna show up right now. Please, 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 guys, we gotta get this in soon, so vote what you think would fit best. Let me also go back here real quick so you guys can see from a distance. Yeah, there you go. Kind of the difference between the two. You can definitely see through the clear, but the blue is what we've gone with. This is kind of what the blue has been looking like so far. I'm sure you guys know the rest of our aquariums. So, uh, yeah, it's up to you. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. 
It was lovely creating it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year and 2019 shall be amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.